all I see is the nanny. There's a little brown spot in there, but that's where they're at. That's where that bull's at at the moment. Boy, they're a little bitty from this far, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're up quite high at the moment. They're three quarters of the way up the mountain. Not many people in the world can say they've done a foot hunt for tar. Nonetheless, been successful for a foot hunt for tar. Yeah, that's a big bull. You can see his hooks from here. And if you can see hooks from over a mile away, I mean, look how long his bases are. It's a big, it's a big boy. It is a big tar. I tell you, he's pretty sitting there in that damn high wind and that mane whipping around like it's, that. It's Isn't that cool. Nice? Up on that ridge and just bigger than life. This is my turf. Got out here to the Southern Alps this morning in the tar area and started looking for some tar and the wind's blowing quite heavily up top. Not too bad down here. And came and set up a camp and ended up looking at a couple of young bulls and found one really nice bull. Um, hard to tell 100% what he is inch wise on his horns at the moment just because all I can see is it's a little bit of hook but going by mane and body he's a very mature bull. Mane goes way back past his front shoulder and just has a really white coat, really stocky build to him. Really long, long hair. His hair, I hadn't ever seen it before on the tour. His hair goes down past his knee. You know, big old fluff nut. Looking at him at about 16, 1800 yards away, but uh, we're gonna continue to look at him and, and hopefully they start coming down. And they start coming down, it's, uh, it's a bittersweet thing. If tours start coming off the mountain, that means that uh, really lovely weather is coming in. But on the same side of the coin, if the really lovely weather comes in, it means the tar come way low so we don't have to hike all the way up the side of the mountain. And I know Frank likes that. He's got a big hump on his back and everything, his shoulders are just huge and, and everything on him is just big. Mane goes back past his front shoulders. That's an outstanding animal. We need to shoot him though, dude. Yeah, shoot that tar. Yeah, he's got a nanny in front of him. Grady on him? Okay. Three thirty-five. Three twenty-nine. You steady as a rock? Yep. They're at about 300 right now. You dead steady? Mm, dead steady. All right. Well, I need you to put it right on his shoulder. We're gonna wait for this nanny to get out of the way. You gotta put it, let him take one more step. He's got a nanny. Behind him? Yeah. Got to be right on his shoulder. Deep breath. That's, he's dead. He's dead, my man. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Thank you. Good job, Thank you. Yeah. Hunter, if you take out the travel day to the west coast, you got five animals down in six days and it only took you six because I had to shoot about 20 ducks and black swans in between. Right? An animal a day, right? An animal. We got a big animal every time we went out looking. That's the fact. Now, one day we traveled and one day we duck hunted. But every day we went and got a big animal. And the Lord's looking out for me because the old man didn't want to go all the way up there in the snow cap. 
And I had I had some stalks that were challenging to me, maybe not y'all, but they were to me, and I got my money's worth. 